Hey, you're so welcome today. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to continue our journey through the Psalms and our daily devotional and look at Psalm 42 today. But I just want to say, if you're joining us for the first time, maybe you're new to church, maybe you're new to faith in Jesus, uh, or maybe you're new to studying the Bible, the whole reason that we're doing this is because we want to show you that the Bible is relevant for us today and that God can and wants to speak to us through his word. So we're just... Uh, taking time to read God's word and to ask him some questions and then try and apply it to our lives. But I wanna encourage you, you can do this on your own. While you're listening to the things that uh, God's sharing with us, and I'm gonna share some things today, God wants to speak to you today. So I just wanna encourage you to take some time to study God's word on your own because his word is powerful and active and he wants to speak to you. But I'm going to start off today by reading uh, through the first five verses of Psalm 42 in the Amplified Version. So listen in and we'll pull a few things out. Verse 1, as the deer pants longingly for the water brooks, so my soul pants longingly for you, O God. My soul, my life, my inner self thirsts for God, for the living God. When will I come and see the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night. That's a bad day. While they say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I vividly remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go along before the great crowd of people and lead them in procession to the house of God. Like a choir master before his singers, timing the steps to the music and the chant of the song. With a voice of joy and thanksgiving, a great crowd keeping a festival. Why are you in despair, O oh my soul? And why have you become restless and disturbed within me? Hope in God and wait expectantly for him, for I shall again praise him for the help of his presence. You know, we can learn a little bit from looking at the, the context uh, the time in which this psalm was written, who it was written by. I mentioned that last week in my devotional, talked about the interpretation. And most scholars believe that this isn't a psalm written by David, it was written by one of the, the worship leaders uh, in, the, in that day. And they weren't uh, in hiding or on lockdown from a virus. They were, most people believe, uh, in hiding and on lockdown from a guy called Absalom, who was David's son, who was trying to force David, his father, out of the throne and trying to take it over. Uh, it's a fascinating story. And so they're, they're kind of in hiding and they're afraid. And what we've got right here in Psalm 42, if I can kind of modernize it, is we've got a worship leader in lockdown. And maybe you're a worship leader right now and you can relate to this. And you're saying, yeah, man, I remember, remember the crowds. I remember when we'd, we'd get together and we'd worship. I remember the band. We'd get together and we'd sing and, and we'd just jam and it was great. Or maybe you're someone that, that just loves corporate gatherings. You love that community and you're thinking, man, uh, it was supposed to be the cave this weekend. I, I just miss the cave. I just long for that. Right? When we're together or maybe it's groups or whatever it is, I don't know what it is for you, but, but you can relate to this. And you're like, man, th those were the days. That was so good. If we can just get back there, it'll be so much better. But actually, our circumstances and our situation has changed. And sometimes when our circumstances and our situation changes, we see that the heart cry of our own psalm changes as well. Because he's reflecting on how great it was. And then he goes on you know, in verse 5 and we see this, this emotion from him. He says, why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become restless and disturbed within me? And maybe you can relate to that today. There are some days when I feel so grateful for these four walls and this roof over my head that I get to live in that is my home. And there are some days when I wanna knock them down and I just wanna get out. I'm restless because of this lockdown. Or maybe for you, it's a little bit more serious than that. Uh, maybe you're really wrestling with some thoughts of anxiety, maybe even depression, and you've been afraid to speak it out or to ask for help or to tell anyone because vocalizing it just makes it too real for you. And you're just thinking, you know, if I can just make it through, if I can just make it through, the lockdown's supposed to lift next week, it's supposed to lift in a few days, it's supposed to lift. If I can just make it through and get back to that place, then I'll be all good. But actually, I don't think 
that God is wanting to wait to speak to you. I don't think he's wanting to wait to minister to you. I think he's wanting to do something right now, today. And we, we see in this psalm how his emotion is up and down. And, and John, a couple days ago, he even talked about this, about how we've got good days and bad days, highs and lows. It's not all mountaintops. And so I don't want to rebuke you if you feel that way. As a matter of fact, if you're feeling anxious, fearful, depressed, lonely, restless, I want to say to you, I get it. And it's okay to feel that way. Because while we would love to have complete control over our emotions and feelings, and we know that one day everything will be made new and God will, will do that when he gives us those new glorified bodies and it's going to be amazing. Right now here on earth, we have this flesh to deal with. And that means that sometimes we feel things that don't actually align with what God says about us. But that doesn't mean just because we can feel those things and we do feel those things, and as I said, it's okay to feel those things, it doesn't mean that it's okay to hold on to those things. It doesn't mean that if you feel depressed, it's okay just to be depressed. It doesn't mean if you feel anxious, it's okay to just remain anxious and say, hey, this is just who I am, and Pete said it's okay to feel what I feel. Because God's wanting to take what you're feeling, and he's wanting to do something in that and do something through that. See, because how you, much like this psalmist, how you finish matters. See, this psalmist is riding his emotion and he goes right through a whole kind of cycle of emotion. He gets to the end and you know what? He repeats the same thing. He comes back and says, why are you in despair, O my soul? Why have you become restless and disquieted within me? there's still these same questions and these same feelings coming up. But then he finishes differently. And I just wonder, if you were to write a psalm for your day, right now, today, what would it be like? Matter of fact, I encourage you, a little challenge to you, a little writing assignment, write a psalm for today. As if you were a modern day psalmist and you were writing the feelings and the emotions that you're going through, be really honest. I'd be interested to see what those look like and what those sound like. Really, I encourage some of you to do that. I think it could be really helpful. Because the way that we end our psalm, the way that we end our prayer, the way that we end our day, the way we end our lockdown matters. Because even though the psalmist is feeling despair, he's feeling restlessness, he's feeling this disease, he says to himself, hope in God, and wait expectantly for him. For I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. What he's saying is, hey, you know what? Even though I feel this way, I'm gonna hope in God. I'm gonna wait expectantly for him. You know, I don't understand, but I trust God. I don't know when this is gonna end, but I know that God does. I don't know how this is all working together for my good, but I believe that it is. The way that you end your psalm matters. So I encourage you today, don't end the day on a note of despair. Don't end the day on a note of restlessness. Don't end your prayers and don't end this lockdown in that way. Take them to God. I encourage you even today to go through this psalm, to go through your own psalm and ask God, what do you want to say to me today, God? And I believe that he will speak to you and he will change the way that your psalm ends because he brings hope. He brings life. So thanks for joining us today. Tune in tomorrow as we move on to Psalm 43.